All right, so the Catholic concept of mortal and venial sin is actually very biblical. Uh, we see this particularly in 1 John 5. <clears throat> so let's see what he has to say about it. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. This is going to be 1 John 5, 16 through 17. If anyone sees his brother sinning, if the sin is not deadly, he should pray to God and he will give him life. This is only for those whose sin is not deadly. There is such a thing as deadly sin, about which I do not say that you should pray. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is sin that is not deadly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, what we see here, this is very clearly the distinction between deadly sin, which is mortal sin, which is sin that leaves you spiritually dead and cut off, and you got to reconcile for that. And venial sin, which it's still sin, but it's less severe. It is not deadly. It does not leave you spiritually dead. It does not leave you cut off like that. You still have to atone for it, but not at that level. That is the Catholic teaching of mortal and venial sin. And it is very clearly displayed right there in the first letter of John. So it is biblical. 